Hey altcoin fans, thanks for joining me here on Altcoin Radar. Today guys, I'm going to give you my realistic long-term price prediction for Barn Bridges Bond Token. And as always guys, hey, if you enjoy the content that I create, then go ahead and make sure to subscribe to the channel and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up because why not, right? Um, and also guys, hey, feel free to follow me here on Twitter as well with the link in the dis video description down below. Um, I like to talk about altcoins and NFTs all day long and just, you know, hey, have a lot of fun. So if you're into that sort of thing, hey, go ahead, give me a follow and chat with me or something. All right, guys. So for those of you who are new to my channel or new to these types of videos that I do as part of my long term crypto price prediction videos, um, I'm a long term altcoin holder. I've been holding on to various coins for about five years now. And I don't plan to sell for a very long time. I'm not in, you know, I'm not in any kind of rush to make a bunch of money. So um, I don't need money right now. So I just continue to buy and hold and, you know, take the profits and buy in lower and just continue to hold longer and longer and longer. Um, that's just what I like to do. So if you're into that sort of thing and you like doing that, then you're probably going to like this video because I like to go in to find uh, where I think the long term price prediction is going to or long term price is going to go for a bunch of various different altcoins. Um, so you'll see a bunch of different altcoins for, you know, for long term price predictions in this um, uh this uh, long-term crypto price prediction series that I do. Um, now I don't use technical analysis because technical analysis really doesn't give you a like actual number for you know long long term. Excuse me. Um, it'll give you the overall direction of where the market's going to go. You know, obviously up, down, whatever. It's not going to give you a number though. Um, you know, you can get an actual number with other ways. You know, just I mean, obviously I'm not a magician. I, you don't see a magic ball behind me. I'm not a wizard or anything. So I can't give you a guaranteed number and say definitively yes, it's going to get to this number. Um, like most of the other influencers out there um, that blatantly lie to people. But um, I can tell you that um, I can give you my best guess based on you know basic basic data. So that's what we're going to do today. Okay, so Barn Bridge. Barn Bridge is currently ranked number 426 on CoinMarketCap and is currently trading for $26.14. It's got a market cap of $130 million and a circulating supply of about 5 we're going to just say $5 million. Uh, it's total supply is 10 million. So, you know, just, uh, keep that into perspective. Now, again, guys, when I'm talking about long-term holding here, I'm not talking six to 12 months. Okay. So when you see my price prediction, don't think to yourself, Oh gosh, I'm going to hold for six months and it's going to get to that. And if it doesn't get to that, I'm going to come back to altcoin radar and, you know, uh, you know, talk crap to them because you know, that's what I do. No, that's not the case here at all. Um, when I'm talking hold long-term, I'm talking at least minimum three years. I mean, I can't guarantee that it's going to take that long to get this high but you know minimum three years for sure um but okay so i personally believe and feel like barn bridge is one of those projects that can easily get to a market cap uh for an all-time high at you know roughly three billion dollars at some point in time um i'm not talking you know now i'm talking in the future at some point in time in the future i feel like it can definitely easily get to three billion dollars minimum 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 okay so we are going to see based on price or based on current uh circulating supply levels and whatnot see how much it could possibly be um if it went to a market cap of three billion dollars you guys now as far as circulating supply goes and you know three five years from now whatever however long it takes for it to get to that market cap level the circulating supply is probably going to be a lot more than where it's at right now which is five billion so for the sake of this video i'm going to be using a circulating supply of seven billion just to be you know just to be on the safe side of things okay now, the current all-time high is, keep this in mind, you guys, keep, the current all-time high is $185, okay? Now, that happened, I mean, as you guys can see here, I've got all the all mark ticked here. Um, as you guys can see, it was $185 when it started to show up on exchanges for the very first time. So I don't really think that that number of 185 is like, I don't really think we can put that into... I, I, I mean, we really can't count that, honestly, because, I mean, that 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 happened when it just got listed on exchanges and as you guys can see you know it went dropped straight down and it's been trading you know within the range of like you know twenty dollars to twenty dollars to you know eighty five dollars for instance so um keep that in mind as well all right guys so let's see here what we could get to if the market cap went to three billion dollars all right so seven million for a circulating supply and we are going to take 7 million and we are going to multiply it by, let's see if it went to, let's see just for fun what the market cap would be if it went to that uh, all time high again, $186. So we're going to multiply this by 186 
and it would give us a market cap of $1.3 billion. Now that's still less than half of where, you know, my overall, uh, overall market cap prediction could go. Overall, guys, I think it can get to a market cap of roughly $3 billion in the long-term future. So clearly higher than 186. So we will go ahead and we will try 300, okay? So we got 7 million and we will try 300. We're still at 2.1. Okay, so we'll try 700. And well, wait, let's see here. Wait, duh, my math is bad. Um, seven times what? Seven times five is 30, right? So that would be like 500. So we will try 500, $500. Oh, no, that's three, five. Okay, my bad. See, my math is terrible, you guys. Okay, so it's not 50. Okay, so clearly seven times four is what, 28? So that'd be 22, uh, if it was at, you know, if it was at $400, then it would be uh, $2.8 billion. So um, let's see here, we'll go with 420. So 7 million times 420.00. Okay, I'm comfortable with that number. That's close enough. So guys, for the sake of this video, for my long-term price prediction for barn bridge or bond in the long term, I'm going to go ahead with my price prediction of $420. Okay. Now a lot of you are probably thinking, holy cow, $26 to $420. Yeah, that seems really high. But again, you guys, you have to think about things from a long-term perspective. Okay. As more and more money gets put into these markets, all of these market caps of all these coins that, you know, are you know, do pretty well are going to be continuing to rise more and more as time goes on. I mean, we've seen it in the past and it's only going to continue that trend as time goes on as well. So guys, $420. Now let's see how much of an ROI you would make if you put $10,000 into this coin right now. So we got $10,000 divided by $26, $26. And you'd come out with 384.6 coins, 384.6. Now we're going to go ahead and multiply that by 420. And we come out with $161,000. So again, guys, you know, for holding it long term, and it reaches a market cap of, you know, $3 billion someday, you're going to come out with a good solid $150,000 return on your investment, which is a very, very, very good return on your investment, you guys, and you would just turn around, turn all that profit back into more coins, and you just continue, continue the cycle more and more as time goes on, you guys. I mean, that's the that's the whole point of investing for the long term. Just make money, turn that money into more money, and just continue the cycle. Um, so again, guys, one hundred fifty thousand dollars for a, um, you know, for a good for a return on your investment. That is pretty darn good. I mean, I, I would have no complaints with that. This is a project that you know I'm personally going to start looking into now and start you know potentially putting money towards because. I like this profit potential, and if it can get to a market cap of three billion, then you know that's going to be a very good, solid, you know, a good solid return on my investment. So um, this is how I do things, and it's you know been working well for the last five years. So you know I'm going to continue to do this. But overall, guys, again, for the sake of this video, for the sake of the price prediction, four hundred and twenty dollars is my long-term price prediction for Barn Bridges Bond Token. So, all right, guys, that pretty much does it for that video. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. But again, guys, hey, before you guys leave, again, don't forget to follow me here on Twitter with the link in the video description down below. And also, guys, if you haven't already, go ahead and take a minute to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a new crypto and altcoin video from me on a daily basis. And hey, guys, with that said, thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you guys in my future videos or chatting with me here on Twitter.